Hey y'all, um, sorry that, again, I have been extremely remiss in making videos. Usual excuses, I'm really busy, and it's probably only going to get worse because we are nearing the end of the semester, and we are also about a week out from Tech Week for the musical, and if you are a theater person or you know a theater person, you know that Tech Week means you sell your soul to the show and you do not have a life. So, I did see Captain America The Winter Soldier the Sunday after it came out, and I would like to do a video about it, but I kind of want to go see the movie again just so I can get my thoughts together a little better on it. I think it would be kind of dumb if I tried to make a video about it now that it's been like a week since I've seen it and I've only seen it the once. I loved it. But this week I thought I would do something that I have not done on this channel before, and it's an unboxing of this little doodad which happens to be a birch box. If you don't know what birch box is, it is one of those beauty subscription services and for $10 a month they send you a box every month and it has anywhere from five to six little beauty samples in it. Um, you know, in the past I've gotten eyeliner, eyeshadow, uh, hair oils, uh, shampoos, just like all kinds of stuff and like some people don't like the beauty subscription boxes that only give you sample sizes, but for me, I have kind of beauty product ADD, and I find myself sometimes buying full-size things and not being able to use it all, and I forget about it, and I think it's the greatest thing ever for like two weeks and then I stop using it. So the sample size thing works really well for me. Um, so I can put a link to the website down below if you are interested at all. I love it. I've been doing it since, I want to say October of last year, and it's like my favorite part of the month. So Birchbox, you get one a month. It's usually sent sometime in the middle of the month. So this is, uh, this is the April box. So let's get jiggy with it, y'all. I have to open, I have to rip open the tape first, which is... No mean feet, apparently. Let me get scissors. Good things about the birch box. Um, it comes in a thing, a thing. It comes in a box, like shipped, that's pretty, but then it also comes in its own little box that has a lid that opens and closes, so I keep one or two and I keep all of my birch box samples in these boxes. So I can always keep track of where they are. Whee! So the first thing comes out on top is a card. Uh, April rainy days. Uh, April showers bring me flowers, I guess is like the, the theme of this box. Oh, there's some ideas for how to spend rainy days. That's cute. Okay. This is adorable. There's little raindrop cookies. And then it also has, um, on the back of this card, it has the description of everything that you're getting in the box. But I'm going to look at the products before I read the thing. Bright ideas for a rainy day. You got tip number six. So what is tip number six? If you've got a bathtub, you've got a spa. Turn on the tap, pour in some bath oil and bubbles, and zen out. Follow up with a rich body butter to keep skin soft. If only I had a bathtub. And yeah, so these are cute. It's an adorable little idea. So I like this paper. It always comes with pretty wrapping paper, and this one's like the, the like light, light, light blue that I'm really into right now. Ooh, there's some big things in this one. This is... What is this? Oh, it's dry shampoo. Y'all, extra gentle dry shampoo with oat milk. Cleans hair without water. That's super exciting. So I just bought a full-size thing of Batiste dry shampoo um, at TJ Maxx, maybe. I went shopping last week. And I used it, and I did a little experiment where I didn't wash my hair for four days. I know, gross. But the fourth day, like, at midnight when I went to take a shower, I asked my sweet mate, my hair looked like maybe second day hair. And I have, like, really greasy hair at the roots once I go a day or two without washing it. 
that stuff was amaze balls. So I'm going to try to get into the dry shampoo thing because you really, just FYI, shouldn't wash your hair every single day. It's not healthy for it. And I don't. I usually wash it every other day. But when you go every other day, you get the greasy sometimes. So I'm all up on that dry shampoo. So, yeah. Award-winning fan fave that absorbs grease and puts the bounce back into second day hair. Shake can and spreads 10 inches from roots. After two minutes, brush out to distribute powder. Fabulous. So what is the next thing in this box? Ooh, skin perfecting salicylic acid exfoliant. This is cool looking. This is brand Paula's Choice. Um, yeah. Apply it to your face and do not rinse. Cool. Um, this leave-on exfoliant rinses away impurities to reveal smooth, even-toned, glowing skin. Once or twice daily, apply to clean skin with a cotton ball or pad. I'm very lucky and I don't really have pimply skin ever, but for my makeup class this semester, I have to wear cream foundation. So once a week, my skin's really been taking a beating, so it has resulted in a few little pimples. So maybe this will help. I know salicylic acid is like the best thing you can do for pimples. So, oh my god, you guys, there's a snackle. Oh, I love when there's snackles. Ooh, it's a kind granola bar thing. Maple pumpkin seeds with sea salt. It's gluten-free, and it has five super grains in it. This is cool. I'm excited about this. I get spam emails from them. I don't remember why. Oh, this is my lifestyle extra. Very cool. You can get 15 of them for $11. That's not that bad. And then there's two little things in this little... Why wait for a rainy day? Oh, shop now for Mother's Day gifts. Mother's Day is coming up. Ooh, CC cream. Little tiny sample size tube, but that's okay. And it's broad spectrum SPF 35. That's awesome. You're only... Awesome. Light to medium self-adjusting shade. Super goop. Next generation SPF 35 CC cream that triple protects. Apply a nickel size amount over face and neck. It works both as a primer and foundation. Now I'm curious about this. If I can use this as foundation and it has th SPF 35 in it, I might have to do that because I've been using moisturizer that has SPF in it, but not foundation. I've been piling foundation on top of that. Ooh, eyeliner. I love when there's eyeliners. I got an eyeliner last time too. What is this? Eyeliner crayon. Made in Germany. Is there a... Ooh, looks black, I think. It's very easy to apply. So, this is Cynthia Rowley Beauty. A luxe creamy eyeliner from the NYC-based designer for smudge-proof all-day wear. Ooh, okay, I'm excited to use this. I'm all about that black eyeliner, and I'm all about easy-to-apply crayon eyeliners. So, I hope you didn't hate this video. That's my birch box. There were one, two, three, four, five samples this time. And, yeah, um, some of it is actually decently sized. So, for me, it's worth it. I love this box. Um, hopefully, I will be seeing y'all soonish. Like I say, got a pretty busy schedule coming up. So, thank you guys for sitting through my face. Uh, if you hated this video, I'm sorry. I'll eventually get back to geeking, I promise. <laughs> Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe as you see fit. Bye!